time for another segment of Jag Tag. John and Rachel from the Jag Off podcast checked out a Murraysville business where you can get your caffeine fix and then create something special. As you can see, John got crafty while Rachel grabbed a cup of coffee. And we'll find out a little bit more now because the owner of owner of Brushes and Beans, Amanda Crepes, and the owner, general manager, Danielle Hilty, are here to give us a shot with a paintbrush. So glad to have you guys here. We're not gonna reveal just yet, but you guys are gonna tag the next business yes. too towards the end. Yes. How did you both come up with this concept? Well, it was a concept developed by Mark and Amanda. They are husband and wife team. And during COVID, we had a lot of time at home yeah. to talk about <laughs> and think about things. And we really wanted to bring a space to the community that would allow people an opportunity to get out of their homes and get back out in the world, yeah. meet friends, gather with family members, or just come and have a cup of coffee and read a book. And that's so, fine too. Yeah. And, and my husband had had a similar concept in Dormont about 20 years ago, and so we just brought it back and and put it in Murraysville. So. That's wonderful. And what are you finding from people who are coming in? That it's just an unbelievably unique experience. We yeah. like to caffeinate and create. And <laughs> you can pick one or the other or you can do both. That's great. And so you brought some stuff here. I we love did. these gnomes. These yep. gnomes yes. are so cute down here. Yes. They are some of our most popular items. Just a variety. They start they completely see. naked. Um, <laughs> and then you get to jazz them up with your um, choice of colors, your designs. We take care of the clear glazing for you. And then about two weeks later, you get your nice shiny piece back. I'm ready to go. It's so wonderful. And so am I making this down here? Today? Yes, we brought you a little guy to get um, rolling on. And we, of course, uh, grabbed a few uh, colors that are a little funky doodle. So the nice pink one there that you have is actually going to turn out to be black raspberry, believe yeah, it or not. Out. And of course, we make a little joke about the one in the center. Um, it kind of looks like ranch, but it has the whole rainbow of colors in it. <laughs> it does look like ranch. So what yeah. does this one wind up looking like? It's speckly I totally, and has yep. a rainbow of colors yep. in it. Wow. So it has a white rainbow. background. So, so it, is it kind of like speckled? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. <gasps> look how cool this is. All right, I'm just gonna put this on just to get an idea. And so do, can people come in and just pick up some, they're not like creating the pottery themselves, they're just, no, correct. which is nice, because yeah. that, that step is eliminated. We have over 300 different pieces, uh, shapes and sizes to choose from. And once people pick out their piece, they pick out their colors, and we get them started with keeping the glaze rolling for them, and then they can just grab snacks and coffee as they want to. Oh my so. gosh, there's nothing I love more than a good cup of coffee, so I love this. And you also offer live music too, which is fun. We it's do. really a great place to come mm -hmm. and yeah. be entertained. We also feature artwork from artists in the community as well. That was something that was important to us because artists really struggled during COVID to have their work out there and have people um, able to enjoy it and so we feature local artists local musicians and local coffee and local pastries so and tell me more about the pottery to go kits because is this something that people can take home with them absolutely yep. yep we can absolutely get you set up with whatever piece you would like to paint um, we can help pick out colors get you into any kind of tips or tricks that would be beneficial for you we get everything ready to go um, and you are able to paint at home um, I, I'm trying not, I'm like, how do I hold the handle <laughs> and not get paint on the table? Yep. Uh, I have to ask about birthday parties because I know for kids, they're always looking for some fun, you, unique events to do. Do you do birthday parties? We are. Um, we are. Um Moving more in towards getting um, like bachelorette parties have been Ooh, taking off. Yeah. Um, our most recent birthday party, we've had um, a 97 year old celebrate with us. <laughs> That's um, so so great. It's, it's great for all ages to get involved. Baby showers, bridal yes. showers, bachelorette parties. This is bad. Now, do I have to paint the inside too? You can. You can. You can. You don't However, you don't to. paint, it comes out white and Our shiny. Our clear glaze makes it shiny, just like the inside of this mug. It will be finished and ready to go for you, even if it's not painted. What was it like to have John and Rachel in the studio? <laughs> well, they definitely caught us off guard because <laughs> we weren't prepared to, you know, speak along um, and walk them through the process. So it definitely caught us off guard, but it was a lot, a lot of fun They're so to great, walk them they? through the process. You can they see are. them right in the water. That's okay oh, too. this is a lot of fun. And tell me, who are you tagging next? Because this is the best part about partnering up with Rachel yes. and John from your Jag Off is yes. doing our next Jag Tag. So yes. who are you tagging? We are tagging Keystone Steel out of New Alexandria, Pennsylvania. Wow. And is there a reason why? What, what was the, 
what drew we you to them? We love them and we featured their work in our shop for sale too. They do a lot of different home decor items and Christmas ornaments and um, they just have been really great supporters of us and we love their product. That's so, wonderful. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to find out more about them next month. Yeah. Thank you for coming on today. Thanks, Thank you Heather. for letting Thanks me for having get us. a little creative yes. today. Yes. yes. Yeah. Always fun to do so. Well, if you want to watch the rest of Rachel and John's experience at Brushes and Beans, we're going to have a link on our website. Coming up next on Talk Pittsburgh, get registered to bring. We're going to tell you how you can join a time-honored holiday tradition all for a good cause.